Hello and welcome to yet another video, Supercar Diary. This is crazy! Welcome to Mission Motorsport here in Dubai, a company that does quite a lot of builds for us. Today we quickly popped into the workshop to see work that they're doing on the 458. Very befitting number plate, won't you say? The Novitec Pista and over here we've got a GTC for Lusso. Look this way. Um, as you guys might have noticed, there's a bit of a disco ball going up. Just have a look at these lights. So what I'm going to do is we'll uh, take the cars one by one to the outside with this list of a disco and then walk through some of the details. Let's go. We've got a, the 458 Speciale from Novitec. We've done an extensive film on this car. It was probably one of the first cars we had on the channel. If you haven't seen that, then uh, click on the link up there. With the Novitec goodies fitted to it, it turns out 636 horsepower. 636 horsepower and you're sitting this close to the road. This car running on standard suspension, standard wheels, but the exhaust is what makes the difference. And I'd love to hear from you guys what you think about the color scheme in a very, very bright blue with the lines across it. Absolutely stunning. What I truly miss, what I truly miss are the days where we had those uh, blackened out lights at the rear. They just looked so good. And of course the indicators used to have them sort of smoked look as well. Just absolutely stunning. I think what we'll do now is just to give you one more little bit of a nice sound check as we move this Ferrari back into the workshop and then pull out the Pista and see what she's all about. Right, so I've just gotten the key. Let's see what she sounds like. Josh, you could probably come a bit closer if you like. There we go. Time to put the naturally aspirated girl back into the garage and see what a twin turbo V8 sounds like. She just gets pumping with this car. Look at this color. Look at this color. This is crazy. This is a special color. I tipped on Rosso Magma, but no, 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 no. This is a special color for the customer. A Rosso F1 Nürburgring, something special. Boah, does it look good in the sun. Mother, one out of 10. You guys write down in the comments what you think. Man, this is just beautiful. And of course, a similar spec to what I would have done with the wheels. I think it'll look good in just about any color wheel, but this sort of like matte bronze, great, great taste. Also love the fact that the owner is standing right there thinking, oh yeah, did a good job. Pista is one of those cars that's just already so fantastic, so we don't overdo it with everything that we offer. Already have a lot of carbon fiber pieces. What's special about this one is the fact that it, it's riding on standard size wheels. You still got the NF11 that you recognize from a little bit more detail over there, but it does sit lower on some Novitec springs. Properly low, properly low. Look at that. Wow, this car is sexy. And then we've got some sport cats and 
We've got a flap actuated rear muffler and a sports exhaust system. This is ridiculous. The sound that it gives is lovely. And I think right now we'll do a little sound check just to see what she sounds like. How is that? I think apart from the fact that this car's got proper power and sounds amazing, it's driving a car with this color, just knowing the way it looks like. I'd be like, every time I drive past a show window, just to see the reflection, be like, oh, oh yeah. So good. You guys let me know how you rate this color, zero to 10. 10 for being fantastic, one for being never, ever, ever. Thank you so much for joining us on this one. We'll see you in the next one. Ciao. So let's talk very quickly about the GTC for Lusso. Naturally aspirated V12 engine up front, four seats. So two more people can have fun with you. This, of course, having a couple of Novitec goodies fitted to it. Some wheel spaces, so the wheels sit nice in the arches. It's also getting some sport springs and we'll put in some pictures a little bit later about that. And the rear muffler is being replaced. So I think, as a matter of fact, it has been replaced. So what we could do is start it up and just listen to what she sounds like now. <laughs> yes. <coughs> wow. Wow. Is that good or is that good? That's the first startup. Woo! Woo! Mother. Okay. And that is, um, as you've heard already, that's flap actuated, neighborhood friendly, neighborhood very friendly mode. Mother. And that's just the rear muffler from Novitec. If you have a Ferrari and you do not have a Novitec exhaust system, get one. Hello and welcome to yet another video, Supercar Diaries. And today we are at Dorado Cars. I'm going to show you guys some really crazy builds that we've done. Novitec cars over here. First of all, Cullinan overdose, Cullinan overdose, and then we're going to get to the green monster with the forged carbon fiber. But first, this, and I actually want to jump straight to the interior because. I mean, that pulls your attention like a bait to a fish. Ladies and gentlemen, behold the interior of this Cullinan. <laughs> Masa Kinnis. Masa Kinnis. Would this be your cup of orange tea with a starry starlight header up there what i really love about the spectre is that they've now incorporated the stars also in the side panels if you haven't seen that video go and check it out link up there but i mean let me know let me know down in the comments would you drive a car like this or would you say ot freaking t too much really if you see it it seems too much but this is it's something to behold it is so so stunning but let's get back to the very essence of this spofic 
Cullinan overdose. Now the overdose is basically where we make the car a lot wider, a little bit more aggressive. And now you can get the SB3 wheels even for your Cullinan overdose. It looks stunning. We've just made a video on a new Cullinan overdose S. That is the next version of the overdose kit where the bumper has been changed front and it's stunning car go and check out the video link up there but yes just making this overdose a lot wider a lot more aggressive let's move over to this one same story love what they've done here with the color specs very wild in dubai they love their color scheme and the interior on this just check this out as well a bit more subtle than in the other one and now I'd love to hear your opinion, which one you actually would like to have rather. So the question is, which one? If you uh, want to just bring the attention of the camera to this over here, you can see clearly this car is uh, not at its lowest ride height. And uh, you can even go much higher than this. The great thing about the Cullinan is that Rolls-Royce have actually taken into consideration that you might want to go off-road with car. Who knows, we'll do that. But you can wade through nearly a meter of water with this car, nearly, and it's still completely safe. Now, let's go over to the more rocky side of things. Here, the Urus Estezo, very, very well-known car. You guys have seen this like a million times on the channel. I have been told that this is the best and loudest V8 that the guys have heard over here. And I'm sure you would agree. If you haven't heard this car, listen to this. See what I mean? Really, really good. If we would start it up in the shop, I think numerous cars would just go crazy, all the alarms and lights flashing. You got a couple of options with the, sorry for touching you, honey, a couple of options with the forged carbon parts that you can choose what you want to have. And there's a lot of personal details that a client can spec on this car. Uh, it's really like a, a plethora of options that you can have. On the side here, the mirror caps as well. And if you come to the back, Josh, What's really nice about the Urus is that you've got uh, this top wing over here also in forge and then the three piece boot lid, which looks lovely. There's not so much light here, but behind the nomenclature, there's a bit of a backdrop of carbon fiber and of course the diffuser as well. Now you might have noticed we're just brushing over these cars ever so slightly and that's because in Dubai, the strip out here is packed with showrooms with tons of really cool cars. We basically get to walk outside the door and just pop into the next one. Let's go have a look. Welcome to Q Motors in Dubai. The next showroom that we're going to have a look at. And first of all, these two Bugatti Veyrons. W16 8 litre, 4 turbos. More than 400 kilometers per hour in a car like this that's got aluminium bits on it but there's something super special i want to show you on the way we'll have a look at a vast array of svjs svj roadsters the ala system that we spoke about before as compared to the sv for example that does not have that and then here gorgeous gorgeous pista there's another pista that I'm slightly in love with. Look at this. This, in my opinion, is one of the nicest spec pistas that I've seen in a long time. Obviously, the color of the rooms fit nicely, but needs to be NF10, NF11s. Maybe just a hint lower. So, Aventador, Aventador. This here, interesting wheels, but Moving along past the 430 Aperta, the true joy is up front. In between two 722s, the Lamborghini Moya.
welcome to Levan showroom where on my side here we've got an SF90 that is not Novitec rebuilt still looks fantastic behind me however we've got an A12 Superfast that has been rebuilt we can see the uh, front lip in carbon fiber this grill insert over here and then on the hood the air vent outlets covered and carbon fiber, a bit of a two-piece actually on the bonnet and then the little fin on the side here. Then, I don't know what it is with people that they don't buy this section. You get this, what is black here, in carbon fiber. It's just a little plate. It makes the world of difference. You look at the car and you immediately see the striking carbon fiber. This is a king piece that needs to be on your car. Let's have a look. Uh, where it continues on the side. Of course we're riding on NF10s over here, 21 inch in the front, 22 inch on the back because she is heavy at the rear center lock look. If you want to see different versions check out the website novitechgroup.com. This in a polished black I think would have looked really really good. You guys let me know down in the comments what you enjoy more. Here at the outlet from the fender in the front you have a carbon fiber part as well as the sides good. You can also have parts for the mirror there as well. Moving along to the back we've got the housing for the exhaust system is in carbon fiber as well as the diffuser. Now look at the exhaust tips over here you see that they are standard. That doesn't mean that the exhaust system is standard, and this one most probably is, but you can have a complete Novitec exhaust system except for the tail tips, should you want to keep the original ones. That is possible. Next in the lineup, if you want to just throw a little glance over to the side, you can see a very stock standard Roma. It's amazing how many Romas we actually see, and it's amazing the transformation that you can have on the Roma from Novitec. Here, the side skirt, uh, there's calm fiber missing over here, uh, the wheels, the ride height, especially with the Roma, it feels to me like it's quite high. But we are busy in the shop building our Novitec Roma Spider, and I promise to you that is going to be a sick video, especially with a complete Novitec exhaust system and the Entronic power upgrade. But for now, I think let's pop over to the next shop. Mama, nochmal, einfach. Also möchte gerentelt, oder? Ziel Oh, das will ich gar nicht filmen. Ja, ja super! <lacht> Schritt näher. Ich werde jetzt an der Tour filmen. Wo kommen die? Ja, das ist ein bisschen geile Schotze gerade hier. Alter, wie hast du denn schon gesehen? Ich sehe den Licht. Alles.